All right, here we're going to look at finding vertical asymptotes of rational functions. And kind of the thing that, um, you know, that you're looking for, if you figure out, you know, values of x or whatever your independent variable are, if uh, it makes the denominator 0 but the numerator not 0, um, in that case you're going to have a vertical asymptote at that x-coordinate. It turns out if you get 0 over 0, what's going to happen is you would actually just have a little hole in the graph. So... All right, so let's find the vertical asymptotes of these functions. We'll do uh, part A here first. Um, usually what I try to do is uh, I try to factor everything. So um, you could just set the denominator immediately equal to 0 and to solve. But if you factor, let's see, so I think uh, the denominator does factor nicely. So two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add up to positive 1. I think we would need some sort of combination of 3 and 2. And I think positive 3 and negative 2 would do that for us. So it's kind of easy to see what makes the denominator equal to 0. Um, so if we set the denominator equal to 0, we would just get x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 2. But notice if we plug, uh, you know, so if we plug negative 3 in, in the numerator, numerator we would have negative 3 minus 2, which would be negative 5. And if we plug negative 3 into the first, uh, you know, the first factor here, we would get 0. And notice if we plug 2 in, well, clearly we're going to get 0 over 0 in that case. So it turns out at x equals 2, we actually have, again, a little hole in the graph. But at x equals negative 3, that's where we have our vertical asymptote. So sometimes what people will do is they'll just, you know, sort of factor and cancel everything out. And here you're left with 1 over x plus 3. And once everything's simplified, in this case, whatever makes the denominator, denominator equal to 0, um, that'll be your vertical asymptote. Because again, you've, you've already kind of gotten rid of these common factors, so you're getting rid of those uh, values of x that would give you 0 over 0.